Hello, my name is Dr. Carl Arenado. I'm a chiropractor from Sydney, Australia, as well as a PhD candidate in vestibular rehabilitation. It's with great pleasure that I announce our upcoming seminar in Rome in September 22nd, 23rd, titled Managing the Dizziness Patient. This is a, a, a seminar that I've been teaching for a number of years now to practitioners across Australia, Asia, and Europe. It's probably one of my, my most favorite seminars. It's all about upskilling chiropractors in understanding and appreciating the vestibular system as it relates to their spinal care patients. Um, we often think of it as being separate and distinct, but I can tell you now there's a lot of similarities and a lot, a lot of connections between the vestibular system and the spine. And I'm gonna go through those in detail in this seminar. Um, we, we tend to look at man, uh, managing dizzy patients in the normal chiropractic office by looking at the spine or the musculoskeletal system. And whilst that certainly has, uh, that can help, um, but there are a good portion of patients that have vestibular or ocular motor based problems that we often uh, miss. So this seminar is really about upskilling the chiropractor in getting a better understanding um, in the way things are connected in the way we can assess and ultimately how we can manage and better help more patients with dizziness. Um, so please um, be sure to join me in Rome uh, um, September 22nd, 23rd for what plans to be a, a fantastic one and a half days. Let me go through some of the content that we're, we're planning. So we'll always start with the neurophysiology, which is, it's not an immersion um, uh, course that's going to go into all the details and all the minutia in the, in the circuitry. Um, but really, this is an overall concept um, part where we start talking about how the vestibular system is hardwired to our spine, is hardwired to our ocular motor system, is hardwired to our balance and gait and posture system. So we'll go through some of the concepts that relate that so you can better understand that when someone comes in with dizziness, Maybe I can look at the eyes, or maybe I can look at balance, or maybe I can look at posture, or maybe I look at the eyes, and vice versa. Someone comes in with a psychogenic problem, maybe there's a vestibular, ocular motor, or, or gait or balance concomitant that we could be looking at as well. So we're going to cover some of those aspects. From there, we're going to overview some of the more common conditions that you're, uh, you're more likely to going to cover or, 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 or uh, be presented to in office. Uh, we're going to talk about history, how you can um, perform a very uh, succinct history by asking a handful of questions. And it'd be great that if you can ask these questions, at the end of it, you've got a, a differential diagnosis or even a diagnosis of what the condition may be, so you can better assess and manage them. Um, we're then going to look at vestibular assessments. We're going to look at, we're going to expand on ocular motor assessments. We're going to expand on vestibular assessments. We're going to expand on gait and balance assessments as well. Uh, as well as audiological um, screens. Um, from there, we're going to perform, um, uh, we're going to look into benign paroxysmal positional vertigo or BPPV. It's certainly the most common condition that you're likely to see in your office, and we're going to cover that in more detail. There's a lot of um, subtleties, there's a lot of variations that. Uh, that present, and it's not simply the Dix Hall Pike and the Epley maneuver that we we may or may not be familiar with. But we're going to go through all the different variations of it. And we're going to talk about uh, formulating a specific and tailored uh, rehabilitation plan that's not cookbook, that's not straight out of a textbook, but it's really tailored to the patient based upon their examination findings and what their goals are. So we're going to work with what the patient is presenting with, rather than what the condition is telling us. Uh, and finally, we're going to, and probably one of the more exciting parts, we're going to look at the psychogenic dizziness. We're going to look at how the neck and vestibular system connect. How is it that we can upskill our uh, understanding on cervical joint dysfunction, whether it be through whiplash, concussion, um, chronic pain conditions or otherwise, and how we can be more contemporary in our approach to cervicogenic um, management. Um, so join us September 22nd, 23rd in Rome. Um, early bird closes August 24. We have some great specials, some early bird specials that I know uh, that we'd like you to take advantage of. Uh, please keep in mind that we have limited seats available. These tickets will more than likely sell well before this date. So be sure to join us uh, managing the dizzy patient in Rome September 22nd, 23rd. Until then, bye for now.